Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're going to be making another Miraculous Ladybug custom. We're going to be making the Vanisher, who is an akumatized version of Sabrina. So I'm going to be using DJ Pond because her hair is very similar to Sabrina and it'll be easier to convert. One interesting thing about the Vanisher is that she turns completely invisible. And I'm going to try to do that by using resin because resin is clear. Alright, let's get started. DJ Pond's sunglasses are bigger than Sabrina's glasses, so I'm going to use some clay and cover her face up. So I'm just going to leave her nose and her mouth. Next, we're going to recreate her glasses with a little bit more clay. Next, we're going to fix her hair. DJ Pond's hair is layered, but Sabrina's hair is not. So we're going to have to flatten it out on the bottom using a bit more clay. So now we have a head that looks a lot like Sabrina's. Now we're ready to make a mold of her head. So I'm going to be using this Composi mold and this is great because it's easy to use and it is reusable. So I'm going to put Sabrina's head into the cup and pour the resin in. Once the mold is hardened, which takes about 2 hours, I'm going to cut it out. So this looks really cool. Look, you can see Sabrina's or the Vanisher's head inside. Isn't that neat? So I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and cut out the head. So that took a little bit of time, so I did it off camera, but here is the mold. As you can see, there's a very complete mold of Sabrina's head in there. Now I'm going to pour in the resin. I mixed up a batch of resin and added some glitter. And with a little funnel that I made, I'm going to pour in the resin. So this took a really, really long time, so I am just going to shorten it up and uh, show you the results. Alright, so it's been two days. It's actually um, pretty hard in here. So let's see what we made. We can actually chop up the mold because it is reusable and I'm going to reuse it for the body. Okay, so here's the result which is actually kind of cool. I think, um, so I need to trim off a few pieces here but overall it looks pretty cool. So you can kind of see the glasses here and the nose and the lips. And I love the hair. Okay, I'm going to have to take a knife and cut the rest of these pieces off. Because this resin is so clear and you can't really see the face, I'm actually going to use a little bit of paint and paint in her glasses and her eyes just so that you can see the person behind it. I'm going to use very light brown for her glasses and some white and faded green for her eyes. And then we're going to finish her eyes with some light gray. Alright, next for her body, I actually made a skirt for her using clay and we're going to put this into the bowl here and pour the composite mold over her. Alright, I'm going to wait for this to set. Okay, this is done and let's take it out. Look at this, this is so cool. <laughs> so I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and cut out the body. And since there's so many arms and legs, it's actually going to take a little bit of time to take it all out. But don't worry, the body is actually intact. Okay, so with another funnel, I am going to pour in some more resin. And this is actually a little bit hard because the cavities for her arms and legs are very small and so a lot of the air bubbles are trapped inside. So I really need to push out the air bubbles and get the resin to go in. So this is actually taking quite a long time. I'm going to shorten it just so that you don't have to watch the whole process. Okay, so it's been two days. It is now the moment of truth. What do you think? It looks pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now let's remove the body. And I'm just going to rip this uh, up because I don't need the mold anymore.
but this body looks super cool look at this so it's clear a lot of the glitter had settled up to the front which is okay because this is where they debug through the powder on her so the body right now looks a little bit foggy I'm going to add a layer of pod mod uh, later on to make it look clear Next, we need to connect the head to the body. So I'm going to use a little piece of metal from a thumbtack. And then I'm going to pre-drill some holes in the neck and in the head to attach the pin. Alright everyone, so here is Sabrina as the Vanisher. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think she turned out looking pretty, pretty cool. I really love the way you can see right through her. So you can see my fingers back here. Isn't that neat? And the glitter is kind of cool too because it's really similar to the powder that Ladybug threw on the Vanisher in order to see her. So that is super cool. And so here's her whole body. You can see that the glitter goes all the way down to her feet and also in her arms. And the resin is really cool. You can see a lot of the detail of the clothing. And so um, the only thing is that, you know, we did get this big old air bubble, but we did fill in a little bit, but it's, you can still kind of see it. So I think next time I need to check in on my resin um, after a few hours to make sure I can pour in some more uh, resin for the air bubbles. So I think it was also a good idea to actually paint her face a little bit just so that you can see her a little bit better. Otherwise, she would be just completely clear here and you won't be able to see her facial features. So let me know below in the comment section what you think of my custom vanisher. And if you guys like this custom video, make sure to check out my other custom videos. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!